Welcome to Tool Guide reviewing another piece of entertainment that you're going to absolutely love this week. The Idea Review with Anne Hathaway. It's an interesting uh, beginning art that we're going to love it. I'm not sure I'm loving it, but that's what we'll discuss. Oh, but I, but I loved it, so I'll make up for what you don't love. You can make up for my point, yeah. Um, let me give you a quick synopsis so everybody knows what we're talking about. This is a, um, a pretty good May-December rom-com. Mm. And the December person is the woman, Anne Hathaway, if you can believe that she's 40 years old in real life. And she plays a 40-year-old uh, divorced woman with a 16-year-old daughter who is a big fan of a boy band. And uh, one particular kid in the band, the 24-year-old Hayes Campbell. Um, so interestingly enough, uh, the mother takes a daughter to a rock concert and uh, gets lost somehow and turns turns out she enters the rock star's uh, trailer and they, as they say in the movies, meet cute. And of course, they're fascinated. He's fascinated with the beautiful uh, Anne Hathaway, who wouldn't be. She's fascinated by this young, hunky a uh, talented guy who's uh, a rock star. And they kind of meet with each other and uh, romance develops and it's it's a pretty nice little story. It's not bad, mm. um, but it's a, it's a typical romance. I, I call it a chick flick. So what do you say? So here's the deal. When I first was watching it, I, I watched it because it was an Anne Hathaway rom-com. So yeah, so it's gonna be worth it. And Linda, Linda and I sat down to watch it together. And um, uh, then the the May December romance kind of thing, but it was flipped because normally it's the guy who's the old one, and there's a young uh, ingenue or a, a chick uh, in there. So it was a little off putting, uh, and yes, because the way we were brought up. Uh, but it soon became very adorable. Uh, she she didn't just madly go head over heels like. Uh, somebody might have for Elvis, who was already super well known at the time. Yeah. And in this movie, he was a uh, had some uh, no, no, notable notoriety already. And he was even though he was in his early twenties, uh, but it but it sort of developed uh, over a period of time. It wasn't just falling head over heels in love with him. Uh, so it developed. So it was a nice, interesting story. The reason why she was at the rock concert was that her no good ex husband had promised to take the daughter. Uh, and it was always uh, bailing out on her, and uh, but had the tickets for Coachella, so right. so she wound up reluctantly taking uh, her daughter, who went off with her friends, and there she was left sitting alone, and inadvertently, accidentally, wound up meeting this fellow, and it developed over a period of time. So it was Rocky Root because eventually they got found out, and uh, they had a lot of explaining to do, and uh, yeah. to, and so. Without ruining it for you, I think you'll really enjoy it. Uh, it was a believable scenario. Uh, uh, if that situation happened, that yes, these things uh, would have happened this way. And it was well acted. So it was a great bit of entertainment. It's, you know, it's just another example of how much really good stuff, uh, and I'm gonna just name two of them, Netflix and Amazon have associated either through yeah. original programming or as the primary distribution arm, which means that they probably funded it to get it done in the first place. And they're doing a lot of good stuff. So the whole, uh, that's for another time, talking about how the whole uh, movie uh, production uh, is turning around. But I thought this was a great offering. And if you like rom-coms, you like Anne Hathaway, uh, you're either gonna like it a lot like I did, or maybe almost a lot like yeah. John did. I, I wanna. I want to follow up on what you said about uh, Netflix and uh, um, Amazon uh, in a minute. But first, I just wanted to kind of wrap up my feelings about the, mm. the movie. I thought it's a good, fun uh, romance, rom-com. It's very well done, well acted. Um, I guess my biggest problem was with uh, Nicholas Galantine, who is the, plays the uh, rock star to Anne Hathaway's uh, older mom. Mm -hmm. And um, it seemed to me, not that he did anything wrong as an actor, but it seemed to me that the directors were trying to make him 
um, a little bit more insecure to, to emphasize his younger age. And as the movie progresses, you realize this guy is not, even though he's only 24, he is a world traveler. He's a very sophisticated rock star. Um, he is not unsophisticated. He's not, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the, the, the shy character that he first appears to be with a little bit of a stutter, uh, the kind of thing Cary Grant could have pulled off. It, it just bothered me that uh, it, it wasn't a little bit more realistic. Although, as you mentioned, the romance does develop realistically. They know this is an oddball situation, and they keep asking, is this going to last? Um, is this true love? Can it last? What's the answer? By the way, it's from a book by Robin uh, Lee, and the book, apparently, very successful book, had a different ending. So I don't want to give away the ending um, because the movie has changed it a little bit. But to get back to what you said about um, the studios, this is an Amazon MGM production. Right. Amazon bought MGM, one of the great old line studios. And movies like this are becoming much more common. What they, the, the Amazon and the pay channels do is they, they, buy the, the rights and have a, independent producers make the movie. They put it into the theaters for a limited run, so they qualify for an Academy Award. And then they put it on the pay TV channels. This is exactly what's happening to uh, uh, the idea of you. The producers, and this is another common um, situation for modern movie making, the producers in this case include Anne Hathaway, Robin, Robin Lee, the um, author. The author, Gabriel Union, the actress, uh, Kathy Schulman, a known producer, Michael Showalter, another known producer. And that's, it takes a bunch of people like that with pull, with, uh, with cred to get the money and, and go to a place sure. like Amazon and get the movie made. And they're, these movies that are being made like this are pretty darn good. They're entertainment and they're good entertainment. They're not all necessarily Academy Award winners, um, but they're enjoyable, and I would recommend the movie as well. So I, I, I saw another movie recently with a similar, uh, a similar theme, which is the May-December romance, mm. and this one was with my favorite Australian actress. What's uh, her name? Nicole Kidman. Nicole Kidman, thank you, and a hunk, uh, a Disney hunk, Zac Efron. You mean uh, there were two name two name stars, not yes, not just yes. one. <laughs> and, and and they were, I'm pretty sure they were involved in the making of their movie as well mm -hmm. uh, as producers. At any rate, I'd like us to review that movie next week. I've seen it, you haven't, right? And I'd like to do that back to back with this movie, because I think there's a, some reasonable comparisons to be made. Great, uh, well, I, I, Nicole is terrific. I I don't. I'm sure I've seen uh, Zach in a couple of things, but uh, sure. but she's uh, obviously the name. And by the way, uh, uh, to uh, dovetail what you were saying before, I think uh, uh, you hear stories about lots of movies that have been made in the past after 10 or 15 years, you couldn't, even even Clint Eastwood couldn't get funding for a movie. Uh, right. uh, I think for Million Dollar Baby, things like that, uh, where, yeah. but finally somebody hooks onto it. Well, there's such a, a demand for uh, star power that, and there are so many people now competing, but like like Amazon, like uh, uh, Netflix, uh, Hulu, many others that are actually doing original content or funding these things in the first place, that more of these movies are getting made. And quite frankly, uh, while it may not be gone with the wind, you're going to get stuff that's really, really a solid entertainment and that's what entertainment. Th that's what uh, an idea of you yep. was for me and uh, i'm interested in finding out uh, uh what your favorite aussie has to offer uh my favorite aussie is who's the guy who did uh, uh, uh the greatest show on earth uh he, hugh jackman hugh, hugh Jack, he's my favorite aussie yeah. no offense yeah. <laughs> yeah well he's not in he's not in the movie with the oh, by, by the way, also one of my favorite Aussies, uh, and uh, unfortunately just not with us anymore, Olivia Newton-John. So, yeah. uh, so there are a lot of great Aussies. Good. So we'll do that next week. Meanwhile, okay. everybody, feel free to go see uh, on um, an idea of you on uh, Amazon. 
Prime, go see uh, the idea of you. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.